Hey, how's it going? Uh, I haven't put any content out lately because I've been swamped working on a, uh, a film on the uh, clergy plan. So uh, I wanted to change it up a little bit because that work gets a little tedious and uh, put some stuff out there. So I've been hearing about this McGregor Mayweather fight nonstop now. Right, people like my brother who have never watched a fight gave a shit about a fight, are now experts in boxing and MMA. Everybody wants to watch this fight. This is probably the biggest fight of all time, I would guess. Because of the internet and social media, it's been blown up to this unbelievable level, you know, where it becomes uh, trendy and all the rest of it. And it, of course, it's been turned into a racial thing. This is not Ireland. You are in America, and you are talking to an African-American. Dance with me, boy. Dance with me, son. A white guy, I don't care where you're from, you are not exempt from the rules, calling a black guy boy, that can be a problem. It is a term that has been used by white supremacists to talk to African-Americans. But this is America. And, and here, a white guy calling a black guy boy, that can be a problem. Right, as usual. Mayweather has been hailed as the black champion, and McGregor has been hailed as the white champion. What I want to point out, and the whole point of this video is, McGregor for sure, and Mayweather most likely, are nothing but cash cows for Jewish megacorporations. Right? There's also psychological warfare going on here with the whole racial thing. So hopefully, what I'll be able to point out to you is that McGregor is nothing more than a mind control slave. So he can either be programmed to beat Mayweather's ass, or he can be programmed to lose. Either way, it causes division. Right? People are going to argue about why they lost or whatever. It causes division. And these corporations make a shitload of money off this stuff. So I don't know about you guys. I don't want a uh, a cash cow for a, a Jewish mega corporation to be uh, my champion. All right, so let's get into this. See, once we get in the octagon. All right, well, here's what's okay. So right off the bat, what I want you to look out for and listen for is the clap and the head snap. Clap and head snap. That's what takes him out of his hypnotic trance. See once we get in the octagon. All right. Well, here's what's going to happen. Jose Aldo and Connor are going to take right to the the center of the ring. So the question is, who's going to strike uh, strike first? If I am your opponent, what do you do? Well, for me, there are many ways to uh, attack a body. You can attack the knee is real quick. I can parry that, take that knee in. If it's a lazy low hand like that, I can take it down Bruce Lee style. I can hit the ribs. We know he has sore ribs as well. There are many ways I can win this fight. There are many ways I can inflict pain. Okay, so here you have a in-the-club, in-the-know handler. And what he's doing is throwing up a classic hand gesture to induct a hypnotic trance. Okay, you, you'll see he's going to induct melting. After the hand gesture is given, right, this classic example of a mind control induction symbol... I want you to notice, look at McGregor, look at his demeanor change, like he snaps into some, some other personality. ...on my opponent and put him away. How will Aldo try to attack Connor? Okay. Here you see Bill Clinton. This is a hypnotic, hypnotic induction for a mind-controlled slave. He hypnotically in, in, inducts them. ...on my opponent and put him away. How will Aldo try to attack Connor? Okay, well, Aldo's a very fast guy, and these guys have been wanting to get at each other. The big question is, can Aldo even get to Connor McGregor? Somebody that's got the footwork of Connor, the awkward styles, constantly is changing between an orthodox and a uh, south uh, paw stance. Okay, so here is the melting I was talking about. This is the hypnotic trance that that hand gesture put him in. Now, this is very common. Uh, in mind control slaves when you want them to just stand there and be a good little slave be a good little robot you'll see it with celebrities and uh, musicians and all the rest of it here are a couple other examples of melting get to conor mcgregor somebody that's got the footwork of conor the awkward styles constantly is changing between an orthodox and a uh, south uh, paw stance 
Marshall Mather. Some of you may know him as Eminem, but he's going to join the Saturday night crew with our music intro starting next Saturday night. But folks, I want to take you to the world premiere of one of his new videos called Berserk. Take a listen. It's hit. Get to Conor McGregor, somebody that's got the footwork of Conor, the awkward styles constantly is changing between an orthodox and a uh, south uh, paw stance. So if all those all right, do we hear that clap that brought him out of that trance? You got a handler off screen clapping, and boom, you get that same head snap. Different alter. Listen closely and watch for that head snap. So if Aldo can, so if Aldo can, so if Aldo can come out here and try to engage with Connor, that's where we're going to find out. Does his speed trump the notorious ones? Are you going to take the fight to him, or are you going to let him bring it to you? As, as soon as the bell rings, I'm going to go charge him forward, open palm, and, and and let the shots fly. Break him down shot by shot. He wow. will crumble. You know, you seem pretty curious. Why don't you try taking the fight to Connor? Why don't we do that? I feel like you've been sizing him right. up. Yeah, let's go. I feel like you've been eyeballing him a little bit. <laughs> Oh, that was quick. Did you, that was quick. Did you make the 30 yeah, from, seconds you had talked about from earlier? From there, I'm done, same, right? So, from there, I'm finished. I think so, yes. Wow. <laughs> I'm glad we were just faking it because he just looks mean. Do you like that's <laughs> looks to mean. fall back on? Chael? He says that he disrespected him um, by not giving him his respect in the division. That without him, the division wouldn't be the way it is. Sorry for touching you, by the way. We okay? Yes. Okay. We okay? Yes. Okay. Every day, it seems, but... I am like the elephant. I never forget. Was that a stare to the camera? It's hard to tell with the glasses. That was just to my buddy. Okay, in this next clip, you're going to see another awesome example of uh, why he's a mind control slave. Um, you're going to see Dana White manhandling him from behind. Um, you're going to see Dana doing some weird stuff with uh, his shirt. And you're going to see... Connor in a hypnotic trance and then being brought out of the hypnotic trance with another clapping noise. Oh, and I also want you to listen for when that reporter talks about, do you love this? And then says, you've been dreaming of this since the last Cheryl Sonnen, who was the last reporter that McGregor was demonstrating his kicks and stuff on. Do you love this? Do I love it? Yeah! I'm on a, you've, been, you've been dreaming I'm on a about a Conor McGregor, um, you know, since <laughs> Chael Sonnen, um, you know, departed, right? We are currently waiting for Jose Aldo. Uh, we hear sounds. Uh, Jose is going to come in, but we're going to take a break. Hopefully he'll be here when we return. Who didn't want to do this interview, right? So I don't get to listen to you, isn't it? That's fine. Okay. No, no. There's nothing to do with this no, no. Um, uh, a lot of bad blood between the two of you. Do you think that today there was a confrontation between you two? No. No, there was not. What is it that that he did that disrespected you? That so, what is it that that he did that disrespected you? That how do you respond to that? After me. There will be one, the rightful one, the man who has made this division what it is. Do you respect him as a fighter? How do you respond to that? After me, there will be one, the rightful one, the man who has made this division what it is. Do you respect him as a fighter? In the rankings right now, he's the number two pound okay. for pound fighter right. in the world. So I don't, I don't make the rankings. The right, but I'm asking you, pound for pound. In the rankings right now, he's the number two pound okay. for pound fighter right. in the world. So I don't, I don't make the rankings. rankings. The right, but I'm asking you, pound for pound. Champion. And he's going to fight him July 11th. Then you find out where everything falls out. That's the beauty of this whole thing. But the beauty of this whole thing is, is also conversation. Right? You know, is, this is right. what sports fans do. Who's going to win? Who do you like? Well, pound for right. pound. So you're pound right. for pound. Champion. And he's going to fight him July 11th. Then you find out where everything falls out. That's the beauty of this whole thing. Yeah, but the beauty of this whole thing is, is also conversation. Right? You know, is, this is right. what sports fans do. Who's going to win? Who do you like? Well, pound for right. pound. So you're pound right. for pound. But the beauty of this whole thing is, is also conversation. Right? You know, is, this is right. what sports fans do. Who's going to win? Who do you like? Well, pound for right. pound. So you're pound right. for pound. Right? You know, is, this is right. what sports fans do. Who's going to win? Who do you like? Well, pound for right. pound. So you're pound. Right. 
and that's when you find out that is the conversation that, that comes out of a fight like this. Ask Jose if he respects Connor as a fighter. That, that comes out of a fight like this. Ask Jose if he respects Connor as a fighter. Okay, so this part of the clip raises more questions than answers for me. Uh, my guess would be it's some sort of technology that we have no idea what it is. Probably some, that's all I can guess. I have no idea. He's obviously messing with something, but you can't see wires or anything. I don't know. It's just bizarre. Is it a puppet string? I, I don't know. Uh, but Dana literally looks like he has his hand up his ass and is controlling him like a puppet. And that's when you find out that is the conversation that, that comes out of a fight like this. Ask Jose if he respects Connor as a fighter. If there's a rule, right, that he can't touch you, is that correct? But we're not about to fight, so can I shake your hand? Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Thank you. you stick around, Mike. All right. More in a second. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Appreciate it. Thanks, guys. So if Aldo can come out here and try to, in so if all, so if all, so. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. If all, so if all, so if all. Yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Thank yeah. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh, it. Thank you. Thank, thank you very much. Appreciate oh. it. Thank you very much. Appreciate oh. it. So, if Aldo can come out here and try to engage with Connor, that's what. Okay. No, no. Tinha nada programado para fazer essa entrevista. But the beauty of this whole thing is, is also conversation, right? You know, is this is right. what sports fans do. Who's going to win? Who do you like? Well, pound for right. pound. So you're pound right. for pound. But the beauty of this whole thing is, is also conversation. Right? You know, is this is right. what sports fans do. Who's going to win? Who do you like? Well, pound for right. pound. So you're round right. for pound. On my opponent and put him away. How will Aldo try to attack Connor? Okay, well, Aldo's a very fast guy, and these guys have been wanting to get at each other. The big question is, can Aldo even get to Connor McGregor? Somebody that's got the footwork of Connor, the awkward styles constantly is changing between an orthodox and a uh, south uh, paw stance. So, if all Does this mic work? Well then, f*** that mic!